Hello and welcome to my first Christmas letter to the Highfield community. Usually we like to send an email to sum up the terms, achievements and memorable moments. But this year I thought it a good idea to address you directly, but also as a way of allowing our pupil leadership team, new pupils and some of our year sixes to put these feats and endeavours to you in their own words. In fact, one of the questions I asked them was to try and define what makes Highfield so special. And as I've already mentioned, the word community came up time and again. We are a strong school built on the indomitable values of teamwork, charity and equality. Values that are hard earned, but often all too easy to ignore. I'm proud to say that I am leading this community at a time when these strengths and spirit are being so amply demonstrated and celebrated. For example, it's this kind of spirit that brought us a fantastically successful produce fair, which raised £1,600 for High Reach. This term also saw the launch of the brilliant Winter Woolies campaign. Inez Boric suggested a way to support local Ukrainian families through the winter months to the school council early in the term. Organised and run by Inez and a team of Year 7s, the project asked members of the Highfield community to donate items of warm clothing for families who would put unused items to better use. From jumpers to shirts, hats to jackets, donations came in from pupils, parents and staff alike. All were collated and organised by Inez and her team before a mountain of boxes were collected this week and shared with a number of Ukrainian refugee families. The Winter Woolly Project is a wonderful example of how empathetic our children are and we are hugely grateful to Inez and their team for all the efforts they put in. As many of you are already aware from our recent email, we have to say goodbye to some key staff members this term. So, to Mary Hall, Adela Munoz Garcia and Flora Aubrey Thomas on behalf of Highfield, I thank you for your dedication and wish you every success in your new roles. This weather has bitten hard this week, meaning a premature end to the season on the sports pitches, but not before some notable accolades were harvested, including two sports scholarships to announce. Emily Sherlock at Marlborough College and George Elmore at Charterhouse School. Congratulations to you both. In boys sport, the first team ended up winning their group at the Highfield tournament, getting through to the quarterfinals. The under 11 A's also got through to the quarterfinals at the IAPS regionals. Lastly, but by no means least, the under nine boys won the prestigious Aldro tournament. Congratulations once again. The rugby season has got off to a great start with a 65% overall win rate. We look forward to the hard work continuing into next term. In girls sport, the under nines had good wins in their netball season, including wins over key rivals Westbourne and Cranley away a wonderful achievement. The under 10 netball girls were crowned Westbourne under 10 netball tournament champions and there was also an exceptionally good hockey season for the under 11 girls with the A team finishing second in the Westbourne tournament and first in the Penthorpe tournament. Bringing back another shield to the Highfield trophy cabinet has been a great Christmas present. The under 12s and under 13s were combined this year and we were able to field teams from the first to the sixth. The first team finished second in our home hockey tournament, receiving silver medals and the remarkable achievement of reaching the quarter finals of the IAPS hockey tournament. When you add to these the hugely enjoyable year five play, our ever spectacular fireworks and our talented musicians entertaining us at both the autumn concert and currently with our glorious carol services, well, it's been a term to remember. One of the questions I've been asked most often since returning to Highfield is what has changed since you left? Well, I'm very happy to say that not much has changed at all. Continuing our traditions is one of our strengths. I'm also very proud to say that we still provide an environment here where children are allowed to be just that, children. Hanging on to childhood is a great blessing in our digital age and I promise to do everything I can as head of this community to protect that gift. In short, getting to know Highfield children again has been a delight, but don't just take my word for it. As promised, let's hear from them now in their own words.
say that a lot of people got to know my name. Yeah. A lot of people got to recognise me, and I joined in with a lot of football. Yeah. Um, oh, so that helped, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Good one. In rugby, when I first started it, I've never played it in my life. Yeah. And I just got that little spark inside me. I was like, whoa, it's so cool. <laughs> That's brilliant. Was that when you grabbed the ball and you were running, yeah. or was that in a tackle? What was the moment? When I grabbed the ball, I was like, whoa. Yeah. Love I'm definitely this. gonna miss the boarding house. Yeah. Just okay, the all-round yeah. community, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just the all-round kindness and yeah. yeah. I feel like yeah, it's a lot smaller and everybody knows everybody. Mm. So you can almost go up to anybody in the school and have a chat that you can enjoy and yeah. you know all of the teachers and all yeah. of the teachers know you. Yeah. I think overall the football season this year was was a great success. I think Good. there were some brilliant wins. Yeah. And our swim squad has been unbeaten for four years. This will be our fifth. No. The fact that we all really enjoy swimming, mm -hmm. and I think that's partly to do with our coach, but because she makes it really fun. Yeah, sure. But I yeah. think it's also she the works fact you hard though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But okay. I think it's the fact that we all like encourage each other. Because I've seen you play, you guys, and you've been. I feel like you're a, such a strong team. What's what's yeah, been well, big about that? I think there's sort of like we're all really good friends. It's sort of like if it's quite nice because we we all like if you go on the bus together, we're all like quite one big group, mm. and so it's quite nice to have your like best friends in, in yeah. one team. Yeah, I think the coaching's been really good. Yeah, and lots of teams have designated coaches, yeah. so they so that the, the coach can sort of bond with the team. Yeah, and you have like a sort of coach player relationship and like yeah. it just helps with training and stuff because then the coach knows the team yeah absolutely and yeah lots of the lots of the staff at highfield that are games teachers do play as well like hockey which yeah, is same helps. club as lots of the people of in course. our teamers yeah which is also quite yeah, nice. really good amazing i was always scared about being pushed by oscar kicked by oscar oh yeah because so you, you never know yeah, you didn't want to get hurt do you and it, when you're when you're performing it has to be kind of pretend, yeah. although it has to look yeah. real. But what what was the final like? What was the night like? It was on Tuesday, oh, wasn't it? It was, it? Really it was, really it was really like fun. it was like the light. There was like fairy lights. Yeah. Like along the back. Yeah. And they were like light. It was it was really professional. Yeah. It's such a special school, and it's got such special people in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The humor, the mm -hmm. activities, the boarding, the just the everything. Mm -hmm. They, they highlight, highlight their values very often mm. and frequently around the school. Mm. Um, obviously kindness is the, is the main aim. It almost builds, it builds character during the school yeah. rather than having themselves independently work their own. They've kind of got a guide from the values, yeah, which is good. something that I found very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. To all the staff, parents and carers, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm delighted to be back at Highfield. I thank you all for your welcome and your support. I'm already looking forward to a successful and productive 2023. All that remains is for me to thank all the staff from across the community for your dedication to Highfield and wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from my family to yours.